We have all felt the impact of climate change all summer from those record-breaking wildfires to the catastrophic flooding and deadly heat waves. A recent UN report on global warming says this, humans must drastically cut the amount of carbon dioxide released into the air or there will be even more dangers in decades to come. Ben Tracy is in Iceland where one potential solution is starting operations. He'll explain exactly what that means because he got an up-close look first on CBS Mornings. Ben, good morning to you. Gail, good morning from Iceland. Of course, this country is known for its amazing landscapes, but we actually came here to see all of this, these things that look like giant air conditioning units. They're gonna get turned on later today. They will actually suck carbon dioxide out of the air so it doesn't heat up the atmosphere. The reason for this is scientists say we are at a point now where we don't just need to reduce our emissions, we also need to reverse them. We need all solutions and all approaches. Here in Iceland, history is about to be made. The world's first large-scale attempt to directly capture carbon dioxide and bury it underground. These are the collector containers. So that's exactly where the air comes in. Julie Gosalvez is an executive with the Swiss company Climeworks. Today, it will start operating these 96 fans powered by a nearby geothermal plant. As soon as the fans are on, every ton of CO2 that's removed is a ton that's actually helping fighting climate change and not contributing to global warming. But I have to say this is smaller than I thought it would be. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, this is actually a very good thing. This is compact and can capture and install a lot of CO2. The carbon dioxide first gets drawn into these collectors. And then it's sent here. Comes in here. Yeah. Processed in this room and mixed with water. Inside this domed building, it gets injected into the ground. It's trapped in two stones. How long does it stay there? More than a thousand years. So how much carbon dioxide is this thing going to suck out of the air every year? Yeah, so the capacity of this plant is 4,000 tons. That's a drop in the carbon dioxide ocean. Nearly 40 billion tons of CO2 are now released into the atmosphere every year, much of it from fossil fuels. Eliminating those emissions means abandoning gas-powered vehicles, finding new fuels to power airplanes, new materials to build buildings, and getting all of our electricity from renewable sources. Scientists say carbon capture, if dramatically scaled up, could help buy time. Climeworks has big investors, including Microsoft, which is also paying to offset its own emissions. We do believe that those companies that have more should do more. Lucas Joppa is Microsoft's chief environmental officer. Is this in some way just kind of letting you off the hook, knowing that you can spend money to offset your emissions? I don't believe so. There's no credible economic model that shows the world achieving a net zero carbon economy by 2050, which is what the world must do, without carbon removal playing a significant role in that equation. A Canadian company is planning to build this carbon removal plant in West Texas, which it says will remove about a million tons of CO2 a year. United Airlines is a major investor. But skeptics like climate scientist Zeke Hausfather say carbon removal is still too expensive and complicated to replicate worldwide. And we certainly should not see it as an alternative to cutting our emissions when we can. So there's no magic bullet for climate change. There's only magic buckshot. It's thousands of different solutions working together that's going to solve the problem. And the folks here in Iceland agree. They say this is not a magic bullet, but if you could build enough of these all over the world, it can be part of the solution. And that begins later today when they turn these things on. Nate. Just like President Biden said this week, the climate change crisis is our problem. Ben Tracy in Iceland, thank you.